going to start and build another kicker wagon. This running gear was under the wooden kicker wagon that I had. I think it's a new hauling gear. I think. Pretty sure. Anyway, went to town. Steel supply. Got some steel. Oh. Went to the hardware store and just bought some lumber rather than going to the sawmill. Would have been better lumber, but that's what I got. Alright, we got all the frame welded up, cross members welded on. I put uh, gussets on the cross members, welded everything. I decided to uh, bolt it in this corner and then on the other side in the back corner rather than throwing a chain around it. That'll keep it from going front to back, but still let it twist going in and out through the field. I got some uh, grease in the spindles and all the hinge points. And then I got to looking and the steering pins were all wore out. So I, I can't see that. I rewelded the hole, reamed it back out, 5 8 pins, all new pins, tightened up all the steering linkage. Hey, I figured uh, since I got it this far, Took all the bearing caps off, took the bearings all apart. Uh, make sure everything's tight and greased and as long as I got it this far, I figured uh, I might as well. What's a good thing I did? Uh, working on the back, got the front done. All the steering, all that stuff. That's all done. Working on the back, took this one apart. There ain't enough grease in there to say so. That bearing in the front, this side tire, this side hub, is uh, not the greatest. Uh, it should be all right for now, though. I packed it, repacked it full of grease, and put everything back together. So that's where we're at so far. Shouldn't be too much longer. I'll have the deck boards on, the sides on, and this project will be done. I did, I don't know how this will affect anything, I added this piece in here just now because these two thin pieces of C-channel were double bolted you see where they overlapped. So I wanted to lengthen the frame out. So I'm going to try this, see if that holds up, holds everything together. I figured I'd add this piece in here to stiffen them two up. See how that goes. I mean, it ain't going to hold any weight, it just has to hold the front tires to the back tires, is all that's doing. So we'll see. Well, rather than writing this down, See if that's gonna focus on there. Yes, no, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, Timken bearing. It's an outside bearing. 14137A is the outside. And this is on the New Holland running gear. And the inside bearing. They both measure out the same front back, so they're both the same bearings on here. That is also a Timken bearing. The inside is a Timken 342A is the inside bearing. Alright, so I got the deck on. Just uh, store-bought uh, two by sixes, and then I took I'm trying something out here. Two by four on the bottom of this C channel as a sandwich, and just put wood screws along the inside to sandwich the boards down there. 
So that got the deck on. Of course, like everything, kind of in a rush here. But, uh, and then I bought this, uh, back up, see if I can fit it all in there. H&S, uh, who built these sides. I bought it, that wagon over there, that wagon. That's why I bought these sides. They aren't in the best shape, but I knew how much time and the cost to fabricate my own, and uh, the price was right. Uh, I had to replace this tube. The bottom was rotted off down right here. It got filled with water and left outside and froze and broke. That's what happens to that. So I replaced that short piece and uh, lots of straps, uh, pulling and pushing things and bars and oh there's my jack. Try to get things squared up because it uh, was in pretty rough shape but uh, I'll make it work. I think it's got quite a bit of life on it. Bolted down to a new deck and try to get it knocked out here. Well, I noticed I didn't get a short video of the finished wagon I was building. This one I did years ago. It's in rough shape. Needs redone too. But this is a brand new one that I've been doing. I got the, uh, of course got the front gate on. It fit okay. Still a lot of pulling and pushing to get things squared up where it's supposed to be but not a load of hay and it has worked out fantastic well worth the time put in to uh, tighten up all the steering uh, make sure all the bearings were good towed it down the road no issues put that in the wind column because you know you always have issues with a full load of a full wagon load of whatever bearings or tires or these tires are okay the back ones are kind of weather checked I switched the I switched the two uh, but uh, yeah it's worked out real good and this is another uh, 9 by 16 wagon